In this part of our presentation, we're going to cover Inkaware applications. The example I'm going to use for an Inkaware application is Microsoft PowerPoint. I'll also show a brief demonstration of using this in Word. It's important to understand why Inkaware applications work in one way and non-Inkaware applications work in a different way. I will cover non-Inkaware applications in another part of this video. For now, we will focus on the Inkaware applications. An Inkaware application is a piece of software that is natively aware of this technology, meaning that the software itself is aware that you have pens or a drawing device. Therefore, when I pick up a pen out of the tray and I draw on the screen, such as on my PowerPoint slide here, I am drawing directly onto my PowerPoint slide. This is an important distinction between non-aware applications that you cannot write directly onto the application, but a separate ink layer. In this case, the ink is included right into the application. That is why this is considered an ink-aware application. When I draw on my PowerPoint slide, I am adding a drawing right to the content of the slide. I can go put down my pen into mouse mode again. I will click on a different slide. A different slide works just like a mouse. And now I go to a slide, pick up a pen, and now I can draw right on the slide. And this is being included in my PowerPoint presentation. If I save my PowerPoint presentation right now, it will save this ink as part of the slide. It becomes a drawing right on the slide. It is not in a separate program. It's not on a separate layer. It is part of my PowerPoint presentation now. It's important to note that if you're going to draw on your slides and you don't wish to modify your original presentation, it's wise to make a copy of your presentation before your class or your presentation begins. That way you can make all of your notes onto the slide and then save the PowerPoint presentation at the end and have not modified your original. One way to do this is of course to use the file save as. I will save a copy of this Right now it is called Smart One. I'm going to uh, bring the on-screen keyboard up and uh, just backspace quickly and call this presentation Smart Two instead. Now I have a new PowerPoint presentation. My original hasn't been modified. I have saved Smart Two with the ink on it. I'm in editing mode here, but this works the same when I'm in presentation mode. So I'll go into presentation mode. And now when I pick up a pen, I am drawing directly onto my PowerPoint slide. PowerPoint has some unique features. If I double tap on a slide, it will go forward. If I tap once and then tap again to the left, it will go back. That's for quick ref reference when you are away from the buttons on the screen. You will notice that PowerPoint does have its own navigation buttons for the smart board down in the corner. It has a back arrow, it has a forward arrow, and it has a menu button which allows us to do some additional actions, such as ending the slideshow and going back to editing mode. You can see because I drew on one of my slides, it's asking me, do I want to add the drawing to the slide? I will say yes, and it'll keep that ink that I drew as part of my slide. I will go back into slideshow mode here again and look again at the menu. The menu gives us another option of add a blank slide. This is very helpful if you are in the middle of uh, teaching a session and you wish to take some notes, but not on an existing content slide. I can say add blank slide. I have now inserted a blank slide into my PowerPoint presentation and now I can start writing notes right within my PowerPoint presentation. I can go forward a slide. I can go back to that slide I put ink on. I can go back another slide. And if I end the slideshow, it will again ask me do you want to add your ink or your drawing to PowerPoint? I will say yes. You will see over here now I've added a slide. There it is, part of my PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to go ahead and hit the Save button. That saves my PowerPoint with those notes that I added during my session. This could be helpful if you wish to use a PowerPoint for instruction and add notes from your lecture or notes or comments from your students to blank slides and then save that PowerPoint presentation and share it with your class or with other class sessions after you are completed, such as uh, through email or posting online via Blackboard or another website. Another Inkaware application is Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word supports drawing as well. 
you can draw on any Word document with a pen. And there I've drawn right on that piece of paper, I've drawn right on that Word document. This is in fact a Word document, I'll prove it. By uh, clicking on the screen, I see a little keyboard icon, which I'll bring up the keyboard and I will type the word keyboard, why not? There we go, it'll predict what I'm trying to type here. I will hit the autocomplete, there's keyboard. I will try to type the word supercomputer, S-U-P-E-R-C, oh, there we go, supercomputer. Keyboard supercomputer. I can close my keyboard, and I can continue to work with this uh, Word document, both with typing and with drawings. And when I'm done, I can save it. In this case, uh, I will not bother to save, but I could save as a Word document. It's not very exciting the way it is right now. These are two Inkaware applications. I am writing directly onto my piece of paper in Word and I am writing directly onto my slides in PowerPoint. To understand better the distinction between Inkware applications and non-Inkware applications, we will talk in the next part of the video about how non-Inkware applications uh, behave with the interactive whiteboard.